2023 was quite a year, wasn't it? Man, if you listen to the headlines, you'd think the world was coming to an end and before you could count to ten. Was there anything good in 2023? Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Gary. And I'm Orlean. And this is Roads of Faith. We've kind of switched things there if you've been watching us for a while. I usually start it out, but I thought, mm -hmm. let Gary start out for a change. <laughs> and I'm Bob. And I'm Bob Jr. We decided to put together a list of some positive things. Come on, Bob. Let's let's work it. <laughs> let's work together here. Don't move. Don't move. Okay. <laughs> We decided to put together a list of some positive things that happened in 2023. And we'd invite you to maybe share some of your positive things in the comments down below because we all can use a little more positive in our lives, right? Our year started out with a huge blessing to our family. We added two more grandchildren to our family. And that was pretty awesome. They were born in February. We weren't able to be there right away. There were a lot of snowstorms and things preventing us from moving when we wanted to, but um, that was, they're just precious little <laughs> guys and we just love them so much. They are, our daughter is really good about putting pictures and videos up of them and once in a while we get to do a, a video with them when they are eating. We're amazingly blessed that, uh, that the, the good Lord watched over and took care of our daughter and our twin grandsons when they were born and that we got to celebrate even from a distance the good news uh, that uh, that the, everybody was good uh, everything was well it, it took a few weeks but celebration still uh, still goes on we are so grateful yes and another one of our children, I, if you remember, if you've been following our channel for a while, you know that one of our, our oldest son had a lot of health issues. He wasn't even working when we got back late March last year. He was not able to go to work. He was using a cane. He was in extreme pain all the time. He was seeing lots of doctors and specialists and having all kinds of tests and scans and all kinds of things done. They finally diagnosed him with fibromyalgia. And he started to look into that a lot more and did a lot of research on his own. And he has been changing things in his diet. He's been taking supplements. He has eliminated some foods from his diet, mainly gluten and dairy. Those were the two big ones. And he's just incredibly better than he was. He reduced a lot of his stress as well. He's learning how to manage that. And he's back at work full time. He's back to doing things at his church like he was before. And just things have gotten so much better for him. So we're very grateful for that, too. He's able to be uh, uh, the daddy that he was before and, and the husband that uh, that he wanted to be. And so we're grateful for that. Yes. Yeah. We did a lot of traveling this year, a little bit more than usual, because our Wisconsin kids were not as accessible as they normally are when we're back there. And so we were traveling more. We went to go see more of the state parks in Wisconsin. We went to see uh, some, we discovered some county parks and city parks that we didn't know about before. And we saw friends in Wisconsin, Illinois, Florida, Alabama, Texas. Am I forgetting any? I think you got them. We're hoping to do more traveling in 2024 and see some more of the states that we haven't yet and or get out west again. We'd love to go back to British Columbia where our um, one of our daughters lives and her family. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe down below and hit that bell and you'll be notified every time new videos come up. All right. So what else did we have that was positive? We got to see the family and friends. God protected us from several severe storms <laughs> on our way back to Wisconsin. And and then as we were seeking refuge or shelter in, in uh, various places in Wisconsin. And protected our home as well, which was, whew, yeah. <laughs> if you didn't see that video, there was a tree that fell between us and the church that we were taking refuge in. Check that out. We made more improvements on our tiny home on wheels 
and uh, some maintenance, which is always a good thing because it just keeps it running and keeps it together. We were thankful for another year of good health and um, meeting more new people, either at the churches that Gary has served or at the uh, just on our travels. We, mm -hmm. we meet people in some of the strangest, most unique places and have incredible conversations with them. And then we keep in touch with them even afterwards. It's just been a really neat blessing. And this year we added more. Every day when we opened the refrigerator, there was food in it. And it's a pretty tiny refrigerator. We can't hold a lot, but it's always a good thing that there's always something we can make a meal out of. Since we started our travels in 2017, you mean Gary, since I retired. Yeah, right. Yes. Since Gary's <laughs> retirement in 2017, he has served nine churches part time. <laughs> as he's retired, <laughs> nine churches, and five of them have been in Texas, one in California, one in Nevada, and one in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. Well, two, two, because yeah. there was a summer one. Okay, summer. one and a half in Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah. And two in Wisconsin. Uh, one was just very part-time this summer, but we've been helping them out a little bit with encouragement along the way, too. Mm -hmm. uh, we looked into affordable housing. <laughs> <laughs> we looked really hard. <laughs> At this time... <laughs> That is not existent. So we, we did look. We looked at land options. We looked at uh, all kinds of things. We looked at the homes. We looked at mobile homes. We looked at anything that we thought we could maybe afford, uh, but it just was not meant to be. Now, that may sound like a negative thing, but back in 2017, we were having a hard time finding the right RV. And when we kind of just we're led to changing direction and looking for something different. And God led us to a truck and this fifth wheel. And we got them both for our maximum budget of $15,000. <laughs> you can't even touch a truck, a used truck for 15000 anymore. So that was all God's timing. And we know in God's timing when... He decides that it is right for us to have something more stationary, then that will happen. In the meantime, we'll just continue traveling and serving churches and meeting more people. Yeah, we'll just enjoy the house that we have. Yes, we do. We do enjoy <laughs> our tiny home. We take our tiny home with us whenever we go to visit family or friends. We park in their driveways or whatever. And I love this. Someone at, um, at the Christmas dinner at the RV park we're staying at this year, we came up with the term swap docking because we don't mooch dock when we stay with some. <sighs> Bob, you're going to go in a box soon. <laughs> when we stay with someone, we don't just use their water and electric and things like that. We, you know, we, we help make meals together. We, we do, uh, we provide food. We, we do lawn work. We do fix it. Gary's fixed a lot of things at our son's house. Uh, we just, we make ourselves useful while we're there. So we, I like that term swap, boot, swap docking, <laughs> swap docking. That's a whole new term. It's that going to take a while. That yeah, everybody's going to have to docking. learn now. You do not mooch dock, you swap dock. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Another really great thing about this year is that we added more subscribers to our channel and more followers to our Facebook page. Here's one where one place where we really need to improve. And we would really appreciate you letting us know how we can do this. For some reason, the majority of our followers on both YouTube and, and uh, Facebook are not our viewers. And that's what we're missing. We, we need more people who are full-time RV, who want to be full-time RV. Bob moved. He kept falling off my shoulders. A lot of our videos have to do with how to live in a tiny home on wheels, how to live safely, how to manage the space you're in, how to make the most of the space you have, how to live healthy so you can keep traveling. Uh, we just have such a variety of things, plus all the travel scenes that we do. And we really need more people who want to RV or who do RV. That would be 
that would be a great addition for the new year. So if you can think of ways for us to do that, let us know. Uh, we are constantly commenting on other people who do RV travel. Uh, we constantly are, are commenting on their channels and their Facebook page uh, posts. And it's it just hasn't really changed a whole lot for us. So that's what we're missing. And that's why we're not getting our numbers up there like we'd like. But we are grateful for the numbers we have. One of the biggest blessings of 2023 was when all of our kids, their spouses, and our grandchildren were all together for the first time in five years. That was in October. We celebrated Christmas, Thanksgiving. No, in, in, we celebrated Thanksgiving, Christmas, and our youngest daughter's birthday all at, on that same day. <laughs> when we think of all the friends that we have made, just even in this RV park, Mm -hmm. And and other places that we've stayed, and the churches that Gary has served, and the people that we've met along the road on, on our travels. When we think of all that, plus all of you who follow our channel, who follow us on Facebook, some of you do both, which is awesome, then we have... We just kind of feel like tumbleweeds. We just keep <laughs> gathering people and experiences, and it's been pretty cool. We really, really, really appreciate your comments, your likes, your shares, your prayers. We just yeah. really, really appreciate you. And Bob, Bob Jr., what are you thankful for this last year? What good happened to you? Well, for one thing, if your grandson hadn't found us on the ground, we would have been swept up and in a landfill by now. Yeah, that would have been awesome. We could have even been, we would have been, oh, buried. That would have been really bad. But you saved us. No. But, but your grandson saved us. And then he had us go along with you to do all these travels and meet all these people. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I never thought of it that way. Yeah, I suppose you would have been swept up and taken away. So I'm glad that you are with us. Now, to share the good things with you is great. To let you know that we're human and that things happen and that things were not always rosy for us. Yeah, we had our share of troubles and heartaches and things that that were problems and issues and things like that that we looked in that just Frustrating, and, yeah. Even on occasion, scary, yeah, uh, uncertain, yeah. Um, but to worry about things has never solved anything. <laughs> so we've been in prayer a lot. We pray daily, multiple times a day, because the one who knows our future knows our past, our present, and our future, who sees the big picture, who knows what's up ahead, who knows what we need and what our concerns and thoughts are. He's watching over us and he's watching over you too. So we try to put our energy into more positive thoughts, more um, how we can help others, just doing what we can do to share the gospel with other people, to let our light shine through our daily living. Have a safe, healthy, blessed, peaceful end to 2023. And God willing, we will see you in 2024. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, Hit that button down below if you haven't yet. Ring the bell next to it. You'll be notified every time new videos come up. Check out our Facebook page for other things that we don't put in our videos. And check back on some of the videos you may have missed if you were really busy over Christmas. We put up a lot of Christmas things. Christmas here in the park. Christmas around Corpus Christi. And we've got a lot of other things coming up now in 2024 that we're going to be doing like, some more exploring. So make sure you check that all that out and come along with us on our journey. And until next time, God, God bless. bless.